Hi, my name is Chris Centeno. I'm a uh, medical doctor and medical director of Regenerative Sciences. Uh, also boarded in interventional pain management and a stem cell researcher. I'd like to talk to you today about uh, partial ligament tears and in, in particular using adult stem cells to treat those. First, let's discuss what a ligament is. A ligament is nothing more than the duct tape that holds bones together. So we have a lot of bones. As you might imagine, we have a lot of duct tape or a lot of ligaments that, that hold them together. Ligaments allow us to have sort of a final endpoint of stability in that joint before the joint would fall apart. So ligaments are very, very important. We use them all the time as we stress our joints and do various things. They're sort of a last line of defense and also a way for the joint to align itself passively. I'm going to talk today about ankle ligaments and a partial tear in the ankle ligaments as an example of how ligament tears can be healed without surgery. So this is a 32-year-old white female with ankle pain for more than two years. She'd actually fallen off a deck. She was uh, showing a house as a realtor. The deck completely collapsed. She fell onto her ankle and had uh, a significant ankle injury. She failed physical therapy, immobilization, steroid injections, and prolotherapy. Now, prolotherapy is a technique where uh, uh, irritants are, in are injected into the ligament that cause a brief inflammatory healing cycle. And many times it does work with these types of partial ankle tears, but in this patient it did not. The MRI showed a partial tail, tear of the talofibular ligament. And the only other option was surgical repair for this patient. That would have required a lot of downtime, a lot of, of not being able to show homes as a realtor. Stem cells were isolated, culture expanded, and injected using MRI plan fluoroscopy into that ligament. Now it's important to realize that again this was an injection and not surgery. The uh, MRI was used to localize the exact area that we were going to treat and then an x-ray was used to guide the needle into that exact spot. And most importantly no bracing or activity restriction was used meaning she got to walk off the table and do whatever she wanted to do within reason uh, versus a surgery for this area, which would have been very difficult. In the ankle, and especially this part of the ankle, uh, this area is so tight that it's difficult to get an arthroscope in there without doing some damage to the, to the side of the ankle. So because of that, if she'd had surgery, she also would have need, uh, needed major downtime, meaning in a walking boot. That did not occur here. This was simply an injection of her own adult stem cells into this ligament under uh, fluoroscopy, so a very specific placement of those cells. So you can see here a uh, picture. Uh, this, this is the side of the ankle we're talking about. I've drawn in there the side of the ankle. This is the ligament we're talking about that I've highlighted here in yellow. And that's called the talofibular ligament. It's one of the major ligaments that helps to hold the side of the ankle together. So we can see here uh, the Regenex procedure was used to treat this uh, tear. And the, the white dashed circle there shows the talofibular ligament. Now what you can see is the ligament fibers are bent. They form sort of a shallow V there. You can see the top row of fibers really doesn't exist. It, it's been torn. You can see three months after the procedure here on the picture on the right that the top row of that has regrown and the uh, lower fibers are no longer like a V, which is a good thing. So essentially MRI evidence that this ligament uh, partial tear had been repaired by the stem cells. She also had complete relief of her lateral ankle pain and regained uh, much her activity, started working out again, and doing a lot of the things that she used to enjoy previously. So this is a good example how adult stem cells can be used to repair partial ligament tears. 
probably the most important thing about this is that we're not just discussing ankle ligaments here. We're also talking about partial ACL tears in the knee, uh, AC joint uh, ligament tears in the shoulder, elbow ligament tears, and other ligaments. So uh, where the ligament is located is not uh, as important as how we get cells to that specific spot. Uh, so for more information on this, see Regenx.com. Uh, that's Regenx with two X's. Thank you.